Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate follow back on Instagram using Socinator. Following back users is a great way to engage your followers. Through Socinator, you can easily target followers according to your preferences and follow them back. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Instagram through Socinator. Let's go to the Follow Back tab over here because we want to follow back our followers on Instagram. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to follow back a number of followers within a period of time while narrowing them down in a process. You can find followers who have the same interests and follow them back. And you can also avoid followers who don't meet your Instagram preferences. There are three configuration categories for follow back activity. Job configuration, user filters, and manage blacklisted users. Let's start with the first configuration category, which is Job Configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should follow back the followers. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like Slow with an average daily activities of 83, Medium with an average daily activities of 250, Fast with 416, or super fast with 666. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings over here. Delay between each operation is, in this case, the number of seconds between each Instagram follower is followed back. Let's say 8 to 15 seconds. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after following back the number of users you set in the number of followbacks per job. Number of followbacks per job will allow you to specify the number of Instagram followers you want to follow back per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users to follow per hour, per day, or per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max followbacks per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep following back users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. It is also important to manage the number of people you follow back at a certain time because Instagram has limits. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, a Monday, click the trash button over here. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, let's say Monday, provide the start and end time, 12 a.m. to, let's say, 1.59 p.m., and click Add Interval. Let's create another one, let's say 2 p.m., to 11.59 p.m. and it's automatically added. As you can see, you can have more than one schedule in a single day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's rename it follow back and click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time, follow back over here. The second tool is user filters. This allows us to filter the users or the followers we want to follow back on Instagram. For example, the user should have a profile picture. So let's check the box. The user must have a minimum of, let's say, 10 posts and a maximum of 50 posts. The user must have a minimum of 5 characters in their bio. You can also set the minimum and maximum of the user's followings and followers. So followings minimum and maximum, and followers minimum and maximum. Let's say you don't want to follow back followers who are into politics. You can click 
must not contain specific words. Type politics, government, president. If you want to edit or delete what you type, you can click the clear all button. You may also import keywords from CSV or text file by clicking this import from CSV or text file button. So let's choose the right file, must not have, and click open. And there you go. When you're all set, click the save button. Followers with these texts in their bio will be ignored and not followed back by Socinator. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. If you want to follow back followers who are into let's say cats, you can click must have at least one post with a caption containing specific words. Type cat and kitten and click save. Followers with these keywords will be searched and followed back by Socinator. You can also edit or delete using the clear all button or import keywords from the CSV or text file button. Next, we have follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input a follow ratio less than or greater than a specific number. You can also provide a follow ratio in a specific range between two numbers. If you want an active follower, you can click should have posted within the last, let's say, 10 days. Filter by gender allows you to ignore specific followers according to their gender. If you don't want to follow back male followers, then click ignore males. Skip non-English users will not follow back followers with non-English text in their profile and bio. This will make it easier for you to target English-speaking followers around the world. Be careful in using too much filters though. They aren't perfect and using a lot at the same time is therefore not encouraged. You can ignore private users if you want to follow back public followers only. You can also ignore business profiles and verified users. Finally, the last configuration category, Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the Instagram profiles you do not want the software to interact with. Thus, in this case, Socinator will not follow back the blacklisted users when the box is checked. This can be a private blacklist, which is actually a blacklist that belongs to a specific Instagram account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start following back followers, let's scroll up and hit save. And after that, click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating follow back on Instagram using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, Let's go to the upper right corner of the app, click the social drop down button, and choose Instagram. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to grow followers and make sure that the follow back tab is chosen on the left side of the app because we are trying to automate Instagram follow back. Here we can create and name our campaign. Let's name it Instagram follow back. For our job configuration, an average of 83 daily activities should be okay. So let's select slow. For the user filters, should have a profile picture, a minimum of 10 posts, and a maximum of 20 posts. No need to specify the minimum characters in bio, following a minimum of 100 and a maximum of 200. No need to have followers minimum and maximum. Let's uh, skip non-English users, and ignore verified accounts. And we can manage blacklisted users by skipping them. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. 
In this part, you could select multiple Instagram accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click Save. After saving, let's click the red button Create Campaign. It will automatically take us to the Campaigns tab. You can now see we have successfully created the Instagram follow back campaign with the settings we've chosen. If we click the action button, you can edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. You can also click the status button to set it from active to paused. And that's it for the Instagram follow back tutorial using Socinator. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.